Welcome to Nene's Nest. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so right away so that you will not miss any of the stories that I read in the future. If you're a Pete the Cat fan, today's your day. Pete the Cat and Five Little Bunnies is the name of the story I'm reading and it's by Kimberly and James Dean. And you see five little bunnies, one, two, three, four, five. And you see three carrots, one, two, three, and three down here on the end of the bed, one, two, three. And you see a lot of things going on. It looks like they're all jumping on the bed except Pete. So let's go on inside and start the story. One night, Pete was bunny-sitting five little bunnies, when all of a sudden, five little bunnies hopping on the bed, one fell off and bumped his head. So there were five of them, we've already counted them, and the green one bumped his head. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies hopping on the bed. Color is the doctor. It's He's a kitty cat, or I guess it's a he doctor. Um, white cat. And what color is Pete? Blue? I think he's blue. Four little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. What color is she? If you said yellow, you are correct. So now we had five, one jumped off and that made four. Then we had four and this one jumped off and bumped her head. So now we only have how many? One, two, three. Let's see what happens next. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies hopping on the bed because the green one and the yellow one have ice packs and first aid. Now there are the three little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So which color bunny fell this time? Did you say orange? You're right. Orange as a carrot. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said louder this time. Look how big the letters are. No more bunnies hopping on the bed. Now what's the third bunny that fell off having treatment for uh, maybe he hurt his eye? He's got a patch on. So we've got an ice pack and a bandage and an eye patch. Wonder what's happening next. How many bunnies do we have on the bed now? After the last one fell, we have two left and here they are. Two bunnies hopping on the bed and the blue one fell off and bumped his head. Pete called the, who? The doctor, right. And the doctor said, say it with me, no more bunnies hopping on the bed. And it seems like he's shouting into the phone. Look how big the words are. And what does the fourth bunny have going on? It's a Band-Aid. Can you see it? There's only one left, so one little bunny hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, I know you know what it is, he said. Oh, nope, it's not the same thing. He said, put those bunnies straight to bed. Oh my, the doctor and Pete the cat are frustrated and ready for them to go to sleep. So this one has a knot on her head 
and I guess they're just all going to sleep now. So Pete and the five little bunnies hopped right into bed. Let's make sure they're all there. There's Pete the cat. And there's one, two, three, four, five bunnies. And you know, this is kind of like an Easter story because it has Easter eggs, but I thought it was fun to listen, to read today. It doesn't matter that it's fall because we love Pete the cat. So if you do as well and you like this story, give it a thumbs up and go subscribe to Nene's Nest. I read three times a week. I hope to see you soon.